it's been <laughs> about two years since I did a YouTube video, which is absolutely terrible. Um, but I am, I've said this before, but I am trying to get back to um, doing one of these every week or at least doing a blog post every week. Um, but thank God I've luckily um, been completely full with client builds. Um, but I've kind of moved things around so I can try and get more of these tutorials in um, to help more of you guys on the blog. Um, so one of the things that I've been asked for um, is how to put a custom font in the navigation on Squarespace. Um, I have a blog post that shows you how to use a custom font um, for your headings and your paragraph text, just for your regular text um, on the website. And that's probably my most popular video and my most popular blog post and definitely the one that I get the most questions from. Um, and one of the questions that I get most often is that people want to be able to use those custom fonts um, up here in their navigation. And it's really, really simple. Um, so first of all, obviously you need to upload the custom font. If you've seen my previous tutorial, you'll know how to do that. Um, and I will put a link in um, back to that, which shows how to upload that font in more detail. But I'm gonna do it here very quickly as well. So I've already uploaded my font file. This is 80s, this is one of my brand fonts. Um, and then I'm gonna use the at font face in my CSS. And I'm gonna give that a name. So I'm giving the font a name and I'm basically telling Squarespace where to find it. Again, if you're not sure how to do this, go and take a look at my other posts where I go through that in more detail. So now we've got that font uploaded and we've said to Squarespace, here's the font and this is what it's called. I've called it 80s. Um, in my case, obviously you can call it whatever you want. And if I wanted to then um, apply that font to, for example, my headings, and then I use H1, and then put font family in curly brackets, which again is what I've done on that previous um, that previous post that you've probably seen. But if I want to apply it now to my navigation, uh, this is the CSS that I'll want to use. So first up, we're looking at the desktop. So it's dot header dash nav dash item a open curly bracket and then font family a colon and two little quotation marks. And in those quotation marks, I need to put the name of the font. And of course, I've named my font 80s. So I can put it in there. And you can see straight away, my navigation up here has turned to, um, to 80s. It was Leto, which is my other brand font, and that's a built-in Squarespace font. That's definitely something that I'd recommend, to be honest, um, is to have at least one of your brand fonts be one of the built-in Squarespace fonts. Um, and if you want to look at all of those in one place, um, because Squarespace doesn't really make that very easy, if you go to Google Fonts, um, that's not all of the Squarespace fonts, but there's tons and tons and tons of them on there. If you find a font on Google Fonts, and I think you can just go to fonts.google.com, um, then that font is, is, is gonna be available built in on Squarespace. So that's something I definitely recommend um, if you're designing or DIYing your own website. So there we have, we've got 80s here on our desktop navigation. If we go to mobile and we open up, you can see here it hasn't changed. Here we've still got later, which is the built-in font. That's because we need to use um, a different class here. Essentially, that that we've got is just applying it to the desktop nav. So if I come in and I paste in the one for mobile, um, it's dot header dash menu dash nav dash item a so slightly different we've got the word menu in there which we haven't in the first one um, and I've pasted that in you can see actually this has just changed it's changed to a generic serif font and that's because I've pasted this straight in um, and essentially because I've not put a put a name of a font in there and um, it's putting in a default serif for me what I could do is, for example, type in courier 
um, which is a, a font that you'll all have seen before, which is, is really noticeable. A lot of the time when I'm playing around with fonts on sites, if something, for example, isn't working, I'll type in uh, courier um, and then I can find out, is it my CSS that's not working or is it the font file that's not working? Because if courier comes up, courier is a built-in font, it's really obvious to tell whether it's changed or not. So that's always a good one to try um, if you're having a problem with this. If your custom font still isn't showing, try putting something like courier in, um, and um, Oswald is another one. Oswald's really obvious, um, and you'll be able to see. You know, is it is it is it my font file that's the problem, um, or is it something else in the CSS, like a process of elimination? But I don't actually want Courier. I want Eighties. So I'm gonna pop that in, and that's my custom font Eighties has come up there. And if I hit save, that's all there is to it. So there it is on mobile. And there it is on desktop. Super simple, two really short little lines of code. Um, and there you go, you've applied a custom font to your Squarespace navigation.